Coyoting, a Coyoting Nicolas Venance, a Coyoting a report by Yachting Art Magazine. Hello everybody and welcome to a Coyoting, an Eco Yachting with German accent. I'm on the Bavaria uh, test center on the main river. Uh, let's meet Norbert Leifeld uh, in charge of product development to tell us more about the coming SR36. Norbert, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Nicolas. So, uh, Norbert, you're in charge of product development. Uh, today we were able to, to test the SR41 on the main river. Not so common to test boats on a river. Yeah, for sure, it's not common, but uh, we always do this, and uh, it, it's a way we like to test the boats. Yeah, a very uh, surprising uh, test center on, on this river, not far away from Würzburg. Um, before uh, telling us more about the SR36, could you explain us what is a SR boat in uh, your uh, Bavaria offer? Well, the, the SR line is uh, mainly focused on a, on a family side. So, uh, uh, concepts for make family and friends having a good time on the boat. That means for us, uh, from the comfort side, but also from a design side, to offer a customer a, a, a huge spectrum of, uh, of safetyness, but also on easy handling concepts and robust solutions. The first model of uh, this launch was launched uh, two years ago. How many uh, months did you need to develop this boat, the SR41? Uh, for the SR41, we, we had a little bit shorter time than, uh, than normally, uh, so we take this in, in eight months um, uh, and we worked out very well. Um, but normally we need 12 to 14 months to develop a boat, uh, but sometimes we need it a little bit quicker. So. Uh, this boat is quite a success, the 41. Yeah, it's a very success. Uh, in the last two years, we, we had already numbers 100 around that we sold and still building. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a huge success. We, we, we didn't expect that, uh, but uh, we are really, really happy. What was the brief when you decided to work on the coming uh, SR36? Well, when we have the 36 in mind, uh, there was uh, for sure the, the, the successful concepts we had on the 41. Um, were mandatory for us, so we, we need to bring them also on this uh, on a 36 feet boat. Um, but we started from the scratch when we thought about this boat, uh, but had these kind of you know solutions in mind, and uh, we start building and creating the boat not from the the outside to the inside or from from other way around. We starting from the, from the customer perspective and from the customer use cases we had. So uh, this was always in our minds. What is our customer doing on the boat, and how to use these different areas? Yeah, and we had the the luck to uh, this morning to to discover the interior mockups. Do you ever uh, and always use mockups to 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 test a, a future boat? Yes, yes. So building up mockups is, is, is for us a part of the product development process because this is the time when you can when you can feel uh, the, 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 the room and when you can feel the, the, the dimensions and all of this. Uh, and it's for us, we, we learn a lot when we build up the mockups uh, and, and, and bring it in a very early stage back in our product development process. Yeah. What were the key points you worked on uh, developing uh, the SL36? Um, well, the, the key points for sure is, is the cockpit, uh, the, the cockpit area and, and, and for sure the whole deck area which was uh, must be fitting together because there are three social areas we developed, so one in the aft section which is, has different kind of use cases from sitting, sun bathing and, and also a, a huge bathing platform. Then we have the cockpit area which is huge you know with a huge wet bar you can you can cook and have a nice dinner with friends uh, in in separate kind of versions like l seating version a uh, u-shaping uh, version so very for for each use case we can uh, we, we we have a, the right setting uh, and also the last one is on the foredeck where we have a, a huge sun bathing area where up to four people uh, can have a good time in the sun so uh, 
and and then we go downstairs in the in the interior and the, i think one of the highlights is the companion way when you go down you have a, a standing tall height companion way and it's, it fits out very well because you don't need to hide your head or something like this uh, and there's a lot of daylight in the interior a lot of windows we're using skylights and also on the hull uh, so to make this interior more light uh, for, for uh, our customers um, and also have these two separate cabins uh, an aft cabin and a front cabin which are very equal to each other from the comfort point of view yeah when we were inside the, the mock-up this morning you explain us uh, uh, three different points about the evolution you decided to to uh, think about Uh, by discovering the reality of the mock-up, could you explain to our viewers what you changed by discovering the reality? Um, when we were in, in the interior mock-up, we had kind of aha situation. So uh, w one thing was we ha need to enlarge the bathing room. It was t it was too narrow for for our opinion. So we enlarged it by by a, a few centimeters to so make it better. Uh, then another thing was the the, the 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 way where the TV is 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 is, is positioning uh, in the in the boat. Uh, so it was another big thing. And 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 also the the way we enter the aft cabin was also we need a comfortable way to go inside the aft cabin and work there a little bit around so and these kind of things are quite hard to see in 3d um, so you need to experience it in yourself when you got a real fully blown up mock-up yeah uh, uh, how many person were implicated in the development R&D and uh, thinking creating the, the boat Well, there are a lot of people involved in, in these kind of projects. So, from starting from from our external designers, uh, we work very well with um, it's Marco Casali. Uh, we have our naval architectures from Mikat, but internally at Bavaria, there are all departments involved, which is important for us. So, not only the, the product development, we have the the production is included, the logistic guys, the purchasing guys. Um, so, we, we got project management guys who take care of that everything is in time and and. and and budget and all these things uh, because we need all of the yard come together to develop such a such a boat you know what type of uh, engine do we, will you offer on uh, this boat um, at the moment we, we, we're working on three t kind of engines so we have uh, a Mac cruiser uh, gasoline engines in there we have the uh, um, uh, Volvo gasoline engines in there uh, v8 I guess uh, and we have the uh, double d6 engines uh, for a uh, double d4 sorry for the sr36 the double d4 engines um, and w we try to to minimize our portfolio on engines but bring the customers the, the best engines for this boat you know first presentation. Um, we will be ready in Düsseldorf, uh, so end of January next year. We will be there and present the boat to the to the rest of the world. Yeah. Why, why should a client who has never tried a Bavaria, why uh, should he, 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 he visit and have a private walkthrough of uh, this uh, coming SR36? Well, uh, I think because. W We thought this boat completely new from the from the beginning. So we, we, we thought about the, the, the exterior completely different than to all our previous boats. Uh, we thought about the interior totally different uh, regarding other boats. So uh, everyone who never s visit a Bavaria uh, should visit us this uh, this time uh, b because now you see something really really special, and um, it's uh, it, it will be worth to to visit us. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Norbert. Thank you very much, Nicolas. Thank you very much.